Hi, welcome to a tutorial of OpenLM. Now we'll be taking a look at how to set up the Applications Manager on your system. So the Applications Manager, it monitors different licensing applications, meaning that if you have applications which are licensed as named licenses or as node lock licenses or floating, doesn't matter, the App Manager will be able to monitor all the different types of licenses, even standalone applications which do not have a specific license. So let's see how we can get OpenLM Applications Manager set up on your system. So first you'll need to install the OpenLM agent on all the workstations that you'd like to monitor. All the agents from all the workstations will transmit information to the Applications Manager, which in turn will transmit information to the OpenLM broker. Now these two can be on a dedicated network server or on the same server as the OpenLM server, as the OpenLM core. So the OpenLM broker, once it gets the information from the Applications Manager, it simply transmits the data as it does for other license managers into the OpenLM core. Now the OpenLM core shows you the applications manager just like it was another server. You'll be able to filter it out. You'll be able to see statistical information on it. You'll be able to see current status, pretty much everything. So let's see how we can get this all set up. This is my OpenLM server machine. I have OpenLM server installed here. So all I need to do is simply go to the App Manager installation file and double click. Now all I need to do is click next, next, next. Then I'll need to punch in the host name of the OpenLM server. So it's Win 10 Demo. If you have an admin account for OpenLM server, meaning that you need to input your user and password wherever, whenever you log in to OpenLM server, then you'll need to input it here. You'll need to input the admin password. But if you're not using any admin password, then just leave it empty. So click Next, Install, Now this takes about a minute, but when it finishes installing, we can move on and install the OpenLM broker. Once it's installed, we simply click Next and Finish, and we go to the OpenLM broker and install that. Click Next, I agree, Next, Next, Next. Click Close. Now, get the license file for the App Manager that you got from the OpenLM sales team. Just copy it. Go to C, Program Files 86, OpenLM, OpenLM App Manager, License, and just paste it here. Now go to Services. and restart the OpenLM App Manager service. Now let's configure the App Manager in the broker. So just open up the broker configuration tool. And this tells us that OpenLM server is not defined. OK. We see that the OpenLM server is indeed not defined. So we'll add an OpenLM server and define it. So it's Win 10 
demo. This is my OpenLM server machine. Let's check connectivity. Click apply and restart. Now we see that automatically the broker detected the app manager port. So there is nothing else that we need to do besides restarting the broker and moving on. But let's say that it did not find it. You can simply click detect right here and it will detect the app manager again. So let's click apply, restart broker and now let's move on to configure the OpenLM broker on the OpenLM server meaning that we configure the applications manager we configure the OpenLM broker but we did not configure anything on the OpenLM core so let's do that let's go to the interface OpenLM user interface let's open that up And if we look at the license servers screen by clicking start widgets license servers we'll see this red line. If we click approve and give it a name let's call, call it applications manager save it. Now we see that it's saved but it has an alert triangle right here. So all we need to do is open up the services, go to OpenLM server service, and restart it. Once this is restarted, we can refresh the page. And now the app manager is configured. It takes a while to configure. Don't be alarmed if you see no broker or not configured. It's okay. In about five minutes it will run. So what do we need to do next? Well, now we need to install the OpenLM agent. Now we installed the applications manager we installed the broker, we configured it on the OpenLM core, but we did not install the OpenLM agents yet. So what we'll do now is install the OpenLM agent on one workstation just to show you how it's done. Now the agent can be deployed to the workstations either the way I'm about to show you or you can use SCCM or GPO to roll out the OpenLM agents to all the workstations. So let's see how we install the agent on my workstation so it will communicate with the applications manager. So you will receive this script. If we open it up, there are a few things that you'll need to change in that script. First of all, where to get the installation file of the agent. So this is set to a shared folder, meaning that all the workstations can access that folder. And I have the OpenLM Active Agent there. So this is the path to the installation file. This will be the path to the installer logger. If something went wrong, you would like to know about it, so you can create a log for it. Under server name, you'll need to put the OpenLM server machine. You'll need to, to add the server name. Under license manager server, you'll need to, again, put the OpenLM app manager machine name. So this is for the OpenLM server and this is for the app manager. Make sure that this port 
and this port are both open on this machine. Now, besides that, nothing else that you need to add. Simply the path to the installer, the path to the log file, the server name of OpenLM server, and server name of the app manager. So all we have left to do is right click, run as administrator, and now it will install the OpenLM agent in the background. This takes about one or two minutes, but then we'll see the OpenLM agent icon appear in our tray right here. And there we go. The OpenLM agent is installed and ready for work. Its status is OK, meaning that we connected it correctly. Now, we have an OpenLM agent. What do we want to do now? We want to monitor a certain application. So let's click Start, Administration. Let's click on OpenLM App Manager. And here we can see the application window. And here we can add new applications to be monitored. So let's click Add. And let's say I have a named application, named license of AutoCAD. So the vendor, ADSK Flex AutoCAD, the name is supposed to be the name of the process. So I want to monitor AutoCAD. So it's ACAD. That's the process of it, process name. Description will be AutoCAD. It will be version 2017, and the limit for now will be 1, meaning that I allow one license to be pulled at the same time just for testing. So we'll click Save. And now this triangle alerts us that we need to go to the license consumption rules table and change the denied usage right here. So it starts off denied for everyone. Remove that, click Save. Now we can close this window, refresh here to see that the alert is gone, and that's it. Now all we have left to do is simply go to the license server window, click refresh, and once we refresh we see that now it's all connected. We have the quantity of one of the, of the applications that we want. Here we go, AutoCAD. Now let's simply check out a license. So let's go to my machine. I have AutoCAD right here. Let's simply double click it. We see that it's loading up. Meanwhile the agent is tracking that process. And AutoCAD is open. Let's minimize that. and open up the interface backup. Now we see that we are using the application and it seems exactly like other licensed servers. We have the quantity and how many are used right now. So if we click here on the used value we'll be able to see ourselves. So this is my username, this is me, this is what I'm using, and it found out pretty much everything there is to know about my session. Now, let's say that you would like to add idle times. You would like to also track the idle time of the application. 
not only monitor it, but monitor the idle time, meaning that if a user checked out a license, but is not using the application. So let's see how we can do that. We'll simply go to Start, Administration, Process Features, and here we'll click on AutoCAD, click Add All Vendor Features, Yes. Now let's double click the process, ACAD, and track process idle active period. Click that and set it to 1. Meaning that after 1 minute of idleness, it will start reporting as idle. So let's see it in action. Let's click Save and close this, this as well, and let's click on the used value right here. And again we can see our session, but now scrolling to the right we'll be able to see the recent app idle period. So we've been idle for about one minute now. And that's it! There's also a way to add different conditions to the App Manager. So if we click Start, Administration, go to OpenLM App Manager, scroll to the right and go to License Consumption Rules. Here we can add a condition and let's say that we want this by time. So if the time is after 9 o'clock and if the time is time is before let's say uh, 5 o'clock p.m. then deny usage. Let's say that we want that condition. So let's click Save. And now let's go back to our workstation. We will close AutoCAD just to reopen it. Then now when we try to reopen AutoCAD, we're not able to because access denied due to everyone rule. Everyone rule is this rule. You can change its name, call it, uh, I don't know, rule one if you want. So you can string all these different rules and conditions which apply for many different arguments for time, application, username, group, workstation, whatever you choose. And that's just about it. Thanks. Bye.